Okay, so what's for homework? You've got all day Thursday to work on this, and then you've got the weekend. So I'm looking for the ambiguous case. You're looking at um, a sheet. It's in your workbook. Page 205. <coughs> I want you to do and have complete number two and number three. All of it. The sheet looks like this. Number two and down. Number three and down. You don't have to do one. And do what it says. Determine the number of possible triangles that can be drawn. Then find the measures of the angle. This one says solve each triangle. Okay? So you'll have to go through, find out how many triangles can be made, and then solve for them. So that's your first set of homework. That's the ambiguous case. Do some good work on that. Next, from last day, I'd like you to make sure that your workbook page 194 is done. That's this one. Now, Mustafa, you went through and did this and just put these values into your calculator. That's not what we need to do. I want you to find the exact trig ratio for each one of these. We took these up in class. These are great questions. If you can do this, you can do anything. Find the exact trig ratio. That means that you're going to be using special triangles. I took some up in class. It also means that you're looking at your cosecant, your secant, and your cotangent. Your reciprocal trig ratios are embedded in here. That's why we talked about them today. Go over that. Make sure you can do that. We spent a day on that. I will be testing that. Last but not least, if you want to start on a review for this unit, okay, I've got trig identities to teach you next week, and we've got a test coming up no later than Friday. I'm going to try for Thursday, but no later than Friday. A test on all of this, and it's going to include, here's your review. Your review goes from page 207 all the way up to workbook 213. So it's workbook 207 all the way up to 213. What would be good for you to be able to do? Well, everything that's circled. You'll see all of the ones that have been circled already. All of those you should be able to do. So that would be a good um, something to work on on the weekend. 11, 12, 13, 14, geometry, sign law, the ambiguous case. So you might want to save that because you've already done some of those. But over here, something called review number two, that workbook page 211. So workbook 211, numbers 1, 2, 3, and 6 would be great for you to do because we've had questions like this, but we didn't have any answers to them. And there's answers over here. So... One, two, three, six, eleven, and that's enough. So that would be good for you to do as well. One, two, three, six, and eleven. So does it all have to be done right away on Thursday? No. This is certainly something that should be done and out of the way on Thursday. Because I'm away Thursday, you have the entire day to work on this. This workbook page, this should already be done. I know it's not, so you can get working on that as well. This is already started. This is review, so you can work on that over the weekend. It doesn't need to be done until the test is done, but this probably would be next. So your first thing I would work on is getting this one. Your second one is finishing this off, and then your third one is finishing this off, and then looking at your review. Okay, guys, have a great weekend. Work hard. We'll see you soon.